Q-tip request from Roche72 and he wants to know what you're thinking or you know if you're behind in a frame or, or to help your concentration, your, your, your mental strength during a snooker match. Uh, now one thing I used to use um, near the end of my career, uh, it, it was given to me by my coach Chris Henry at the time, and it's actually commentating when you're at the table. So if you're on a break, say you're on a black and you want to stun up for a red, you're actually saying to yourself, I'm going to pot this black, I'm going to stun the white ball up for this red to this corner pocket. So you're actually being a commentator inside your head. Now, if you can do this and keep doing this, it gets rid of all the other rubbish. Things that say, you know, I can't pot this, I can't pot this. It's, it's just a good way of, of keeping your mind on the job. Cue's up request today from James underscore Chatwin, and it's about potting a bulk colour when the cue ball is actually on the bulk line level with the colour. Now, you, perhaps you've potted a long reddish up to nothing, you come around the table, how easy is it just to do that? But also, how boring is that? We want to be aggressive, we want to try and win the frame at this visit. So we're going to pot the yellow into the green pocket, two cushions, the right hand side, side cushion, black cushion, into the bunch, split them open and hopefully create a chance. It's a tough pot this because you're potting into a blind pocket. Basically all that means is once you're down in the shot, the pocket isn't in your eye line. So good tip, come round, have a look at where the potting point is, try and keep your eye on that potting point and all you need to do is concentrate and get in that side on the cue ball, cue smoothly with power into the bunch, create a chance. Yes, we're on one, we're going to clear up and win the frame. Cue tip request today from Petter Rocca, it's on the long drag shot. Now this is a shot where the drag shot really really comes to, into its own really, because you don't really want to play this red, um, we want to play for the black, so you don't want to play with dead weight because a number of things can happen, you can decelerate, you, know, you can lose the cue ball, um, your table could roll off if you want to play it slow. So the reason we play the drag shot is because we can play it positively, we can play it with a bit of pace and the drag, before it gets to the red, will actually slow the cue ball up and we can control it and stay in black. So we play this with really low, as if we are playing a screw shot, and really a positive strike. Get the drag on, perfect on the black, and guess what? Clear up on the frame.